Welcome to the another episode of today's legal news with Verdicta. This is Ramik Krishna Rana and today we apprise you of the latest legal developments across the nation. Here are the headlines. Supreme Court issues notice in PIL challenging exorbitant enrollment fees charged by different state bar councils. This is a significant issue said the CGI. Supreme Court dismisses petition against Rahul Gandhi. The petition challenged the manifesto of Congress in 2019 for Lok Sabha polls. Supreme Court found it to be misconceived. Supreme Court dismisses petition challenging the discontinuation of recruitment processes initiated to the Indian Army and Air Force after the enactment of Agnipath scheme. Delhi High Court discharges filmmaker Vivek Agnihotri in contempt case after him tendering his unconditional apology. High Court cautions him to be careful. District Court of Delhi restrains news company Aaj Tak to telecast any evidence related to infamous Shraddha Walker murder case. Paralyzed judicial work. Allahabad High Court initiates contempt proceedings against Kanpur Bar Association's office bearers over strike. Let me present you with the details of the headlines made. Supreme Court today issued notice on a public interest litigation filed challenging the alleged exorbitant enrollment fee being charged by the state bar councils and has directed the petitioner in person to serve the petition on the Bar Council of India. This is excessive and contrary to section 24 of the Advocates Act 1961 submitted the petitioner in person. The bench noted that the Bar Council of Odisha charges an amount of rupees 42000 Bar Council of Uttarakhand an amount of rupees 23650 Bar Council of Jharkhand an amount of 21460 and Bar Council of Kerala charges an amount of rupees 20050 The bench further noted that this denies facility of enrollment to the young aspiring lawyers who do not have the means. Supreme Court today dismissed the public interest litigation filed challenging the manifesto of Congress in 2019 for Lok Sabha polls as misconceived. Finding no merits in the PIL, the court dismissed the petition. The plea filed sought directions to declare the manifesto of the Indian National Congress as unfair and against the model code of conduct. and take appropriate action against the party in accordance with the law rahul gandhi and election commission of india were arrayed as respondents in the pil the supreme court dismissed the plea challenging the discontinuation of recruitment process for indian army and air force after the agnipath scheme was announced the chief justice of india stated that there is nothing for us to interfere it is a matter of public employment not a contract The court observed that candidates have no vested right to seek the completion of recruitment process. The bench also rejected the argument that the doctrine of promissory estoppel will apply and said that the decision to not proceed with the previous recruitment processes cannot be termed as arbitrary. In the contempt proceedings initiated against filmmaker Agnihotri after his alleged report against Justice Murli Dhar, former judge of the High Court and present Chief Justice of Odisha High Court, the Delhi High Court recalled the show cause notice for initiating proceedings of criminal contempt after his unconditional apology. The filmmaker stated that he has utmost respect for the institution of judiciary and didn't intend to willfully offend the majesty of court. The high court cautioned him and advised him to be careful. A Delhi district court on Monday temporarily restrained television networks Aaj Tak as well as other media channels to refrain from telecasting the narco analysis test slide detection recordings and transcripts of Aftab Poonawala, the man accused of brutally killing his live-in partner Shraddha Walker. The court stated that any dissemination of sensitive information pertaining to a murder case will definitely result in psychological repercussions on the accused and also on the victim's family. A seven-judge bench of the Allahabad High Court has initiated contempt proceedings against the office bearers of Kanpur Bar Association and Kanpur's Lawyer Association for going on an indefinite strike in the district court and paralyzing judicial work. The bench observed you by your conduct have willfully and deliberately committed the contempt of court by interfering in the administration of justice calling illegal strike since March 16 2023 and thereby paralyzing the judicial work at the district judgeship at Kanpur Nagar that was all on today's legal news thank you and keep watching verdictum the dictum of truth subscribe to our channel and download the verdictum app on iOS and Android to keep yourself updated with authentic legal news